What's going on, YouTube? Bryce Christmas 94 here, bringing you another, uh, not miniature opening, miniature painting video. Um, we are continuing our Lightbreakers adventure. Uh, if you guys don't know who the Lightbreakers are, what are you doing? Head over to Devil Advantage on YouTube and check out the videos. It's a DD and d podcast where myself and a couple of my internet friends play d and roughly weekly a um, few breaks every now and then just to cool off and everything can't you know wear yourself out on DD, but whatever um and now we aren't doing an official player character but we are doing someone who is part of the group and that is quellen quellen is a uh sick wolf not pup but a wolf um, younger wolf that we befriended and tamed in the woods uh, on a random encounter and they linked with one of the player characters and now Quellen follows us around so we have a pet wolf uh, very cool this version of Quellen uh, is actually a dire wolf from epic miniatures that I scaled down to normal wolf size and will be painting so if you want to check out epic miniatures their links are in the description below so enough chit chat there let's talk about how we're going to paint this thing so i'm going to do a very pretty much just base coat the entire thing in brain matter beige um i have something in my fingernail uh, and that is only because he was described as like almost a red wolf like very brownish red um, and so on my other screen here, I have a bunch of pictures of Red Wolf pulled up. But they have a very beigey from about bottom jaw down onto their limbs, and then it kind of fades up. So uh, next, we are going to be doing some fair skin, which will cover again a lot, but not all that the beige did. And then I'm going to try and make a reddish brown using cobalt red and rust monster we'll see how that turns out uh, that may change depending on how that goes uh, then I have wood stain brown which is a light brown that I'm going to use to kind of like dry brush onto I think the neck and the sides of the wolf and then finally I have some matte black which I think I will dilute a little bit uh, with some white to do some final dry brushing on the back. I may also end up shadow washing the back um, and then dry brushing red over that. We'll see. Uh, this is going to definitely be a um, experiment on how I want to do this as I paint. But those are mostly the colors I'm going to be using. Uh, if I do use anything else, I'll tell you at the end of the video. Um, we are going to do a base since he is just on the basic black base. So I have some army painter brown battlefield or brown battleground, uh, which is basically just brown sand. I don't even think I've opened it yet. Ah. Uh, yeah, basically just some brown sand that I will be gluing down. And then I have some battlefield step grass, steep grass. I'm not really sure how you say that. Uh, that will be going over that. Just give them a grassy mixture. So yeah. Uh, enough of me, let's get to painting.
and we are back uh before we show off the miniature if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button comment to let me know what you think of my painting techniques tell me how i'm doing and subscribe if you're not already so that way you can watch all my fun painting videos uh so you know now that that's out of the way let's pull this miniature wolf up um first off i love the side view this is my favorite look at this model i see all the details in the fur i see you know the grass and the rocks i can see the paws then i hate it and i don't know why i hate it um i'll turn this light off real quick just it doesn't really help you can kind of see it better it's the eyes i think um i'm still not very good at eyes even that view is not bad but yeah, I'm, I'm just not good at eyes yet. So uh, that's definitely something I will further practice on. But I will say, I love how the colors came out. Um, for the red brown I used for the fur, uh, I did end up going with Rust Monster and Cobalt Red. Uh, Rust Monster is, I believe, Lava Orange. Yeah, Lava Orange from Army Painter. Cobalt Red, however, is a unique... Oh, no. Never mind, it is Chaotic Red. That's good to know. I thought this was a unique. Um, so that's wonderful. Because uh, I can get a bigger bottle of it when I run out. So it is three to one. I have it written down. Yeah, three to one. Three drops of orange to one drop of Cobalt Red will give you that nice uh, reddish-orange color that you can see throughout the model. Um, then... What I ended up doing was, oh, it's not very glued down there on the sticky tech, uh, but I took the dark wash over the fur to get those deep black recesses that you do see. But I like that because if you look at a picture of a red wolf, um, they have black throughout their fur. I, you know, I didn't do it on the face because I didn't want to screw anything up there, but some of them do have more black masks than white masks. I did find some with the white mask like I did, but uh, and then I took the three to one mixture of Rust Monster and Cobalt Red and just lightly dry brushed it over the top uh, to kind of bring out the red more again. Um, and then I ended up dry brushing around the legs and oh, there, <laughs> there Quellen went. <laughs> uh, did not have it that on there after I based it. Um, I think the base turned out well. Um, it's the first time I used the static grass. Uh, very cool. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, it's in there. It sticks up. It did what it was supposed to. I mean, it looks like he's standing in like a field. So I say mission accomplished there. Not like, wow, amazing base, but it, it did what it was supposed to do. Um, so that is going to be it for Quellen. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, you know, hit the thumbs up, like I said earlier. Um, this is video two of five now. Uh, originally it was four, but I did add a secret character uh, into this mix. Who I have right here, you're only gonna see him like this. Uh, he is unprimed, but that is a fresh print, actually. So I will probably prime him up and maybe paint him in the next one or do Sakado. Not sure. We'll see. Uh, but until then, I will catch y'all later. Peace.